What's up everybody, Andrew Mahoney here with Darium's Competitive Pokemon, back with an old favorite here on PTCGO, going to be rolling a game with Decidueye, I think the Decidueye GX is just such a cool archetype uh, in standard format, and I just love the addition of Latios from Shining Legends, I think it's got a lot of promise there, I mean there are some things you gotta watch out for in standard format when playing Decidueye though, I mean Greninja, not a great matchup unless you throw in that Giratina promo, also Garbodor, is not all that great, especially the Drampa Garbodor, which is kind of the Garbodor deck of choice among competitive players right now. Drampa Garbodor is not fantastic for you, especially with this version of Decidueye that I happen to be playing with the rainbow energies in it. So any deck that plays Enhanced Hammer is not going to be totally great. Fire decks, not totally great for you. However, uh, I have a really good Gardevoir GX matchup. So lo and behold, we are playing against a Gardevoir GX. Let's go. Uh, so I do really love this deck's Gardevoir GX matchup. I think that it's just super favorable for Decidueye. I mean, it's almost as bad as it gets. You know, I think from my opponent's side of the field, it's just really not good. Uh, unfortunately here, I did end myself into a little bit of a dead hand, so that's not great. I don't really see this rainbow energy going too well anywhere on the field right now. It could go on the Alolan Vulpix, and I could go up and maybe next turn evolve into this Ninetales and start attacking, but I don't really love that considering that my hand is dead, so next turn I'm probably going to be using Beacon. So I think we'll just slap that there for now and just pass. And, uh, you know, the reason we did that is because at some point throughout this game, like, we are probably going to end up using, um, we are probably going to end up using Hollow Hunt, like you usually end up using Hollow Hunt throughout the course of the game just to be able to get back some things like Max Potion, maybe Double Colorless Energy, things like that. See my opponents going up to Beacon. Maybe I should have sent up, you know, maybe I should have put the Rainbow Energy on my Vulpix just so that I could have then, you know, gone in with this Ninetales later. But, you know, I think I, the safe play, like I like the safe play just a little bit better. So let's retreat into the Vulpix. We do have the Latios here, so that's cool too. Just gonna be able to pile on some damage with that. Uh, and let's, uh, let's just go ahead and beacon. Let's get ourselves a Rowlet, and we need a Lele because our hand is dead. Our hand is super, super McDead over here. Ain't nothing going on, so let's just get these things, see where my opponent goes. It seems as if my opponent, you know, probably not going anywhere too fast. They searched for their two Curlias. That is the play against a Decidueye deck. You definitely want to evolve your Gardevoir GX up through Curlia just so that you have this beefy little 80 hit point non-EX, non-GX underneath your, you know, underneath your Gardevoir GX. So then I have to get 80 damage onto these things in order to devolve them, which is super annoying. And then my opponent's going to go and end me. Like, come on, bro. Don't do that. Don't end me. I had just gotten my stuff. But actually, I don't mind the end at all. Hopefully, I get end into a supporter. I did not. Uh, but I don't totally hate this hand either. I'm just going to be able to rare candy into a Decidueye. And then, you know, put another Rollet down. I do have a Dartrix for the following turn, so that's good. And then we can go from there. We're just going to end up doing our good old... Oh, actually, this is a cool play. I think I like this. So I can uh, Dartrix this turn. And then I can beacon for two. No, you don't want to do that. I should probably just rare candy into the Decidueye. Yeah, let's just rare candy into the Decidueye. So, like, something I could have done maybe potentially is I could have, like, you know, Dartrix here and then beaconed for a Decidueye and a Lele. And then I would have evolved. You know, I like, I guess I could have done things that way. But, um, yeah, I think that actually probably in retrospect, that probably was the correct way to do things. But... Hey, we out here. We're doing our thing. Let's not forget to Feather Arrow because we're not bad. And let's definitely target down the thing with the energy on it. And then we're going to go ahead and Bacon. Let's Bacon get ourselves. I already have a Rowlet in my hand, so let's just get myself a Lele. And then maybe a Ninetales GX or something if I had one. <laughs> there it is. Okay, good. So let's get that. And these are our options. So next turn... You know, unless my opponent knocks out this Vulpix, which I don't know if they will try and go in like that greedy then, I can evolve into a Lola Ninetales GX if I want to and start to spread with Ice Blade, or I could evolve into this Alolan Ninetales and just like kind of blockade my opponent from doing anything. 
I would like to get another Rowlet down on the bench. So, like, I do actually hope that they, like, knock something out. That's why I didn't bench this Vulpix, because I want to save room for Rowlets. But if my opponent is going to be doing things slowly over here, then they might just decide to beacon again and try to set up a little more. So we will see what they decide to do here. They're going to Ultra Ball. Imagine they get the Octillery here if they haven't prized it, just so that they can have... Uh, oh, they're getting Tapu Lele. They might have prized their Octillery there. So I think that that's probably what they would have gone, because they just Ultra Balled away a Lele to get a Lele. Um, and now they're going to Premonition. So their hand might be looking a little funky. Like sometimes you get into these hands where you draw in, and then it's like, okay, all I got is Tapu Lele to be able to draw cards, but my bench is full, so I'm not going anywhere. So my opponent did evolve into this Gallade, though, meaning they are going to be able to Premonition, which means they do get to stack their deck. And then I think they just can't Beacon. So like if they're if they're really stuck here, then they just can't Beacon because Beacon will you know reset the order of their deck. They probably want to top deck something i imagine and uh you know that way they can get themselves out of here uh, that or they're just going to go in it looks like they actually got the attack okay so they are going to sensitive blade knock out my vulpix this is fine i can go in with ladios you know and actually hit this thing for 60 damage so that's like super cool is actually really helping my whole devolving thing i don't have anything to max potion yet so let's just go ahead we'll evolve this dartrix in retrospect you see i think like i should have I should have probably done the other play that I said, you know, evolve this into Dartrix. But then, you know, I do have 20 extra damage on the board, so I don't know. Let's just uh, Lele. I don't want to throw those max potions away, so let's just go get an N. And then I know that my opponent has stacked their deck with Premonition. Let's just go ahead and N. And hopefully I draw into another Rowlet or something like that. Preferably would have would have liked a double colorless energy. I'm not going to lie. I think like that would have been nice. But, you know, beggars can't always be choosers, so this is fine. It does not feel like the appropriate time to flying flip or uh, to hollow hunt. Seems like actually a pretty bad time to hollow hunt. But uh, I could get two ends back, which could help me throughout the course of the game. So I don't, like, hate that. Let's just go ahead and feather arrow. Let's feather arrow the Guard of War GX over there. And I think, actually, I do just hollow hunt, so they can't just take, like, another free odd prize. I'm not gonna use the floatstone yet in case they do decide to, um, in case they do decide to, you know, um, field blower me. And I think I just hollow hunt for two ends and a rare candy. So let's, uh, I've already done that. Let's just hollow hunt here. And we're gonna get our two ends and our rare candy back. Okay, we only got one card in the discard pile. Let's go ahead and get some double colorless energy. That would be great. So that I can start using Latios or Tapu Coco, you know, really pile on some damage here. You can see that like I'm definitely slow rolling my opponent like this is going to be a slower game but that's kind of like why I love Decidueye you know because we just get to relax here you know just then just no stress like they can go up they could go ahead on prizes like I'll catch up you know what like I'll get there when I get there that's kind of like my motto with this deck I'm not terribly concerned though I, you know stress should probably start to set in here fairly soon if they get a uh if they get a thing here that could just start knocking out my deciduous i don't like this no stop that see that is it's a little stressful you know i would rather you hit into my decidui like that's what i wanted you to do because then i could just like retreat with floatstone max potion and go from there uh but if they do knock out my dartrix that's like annoying because you're just gonna have to make me find another little dartrix thing you have to make me find another rowlet i don't like that so that's like super annoying and that's it so let's promote my tapu coco go from here see what we can do i got a bunch of sycamores and a bunch of ends that is super annoying because i want to like burn these bridgets by sycamoring them but i just cannot i need to be more patient so we are going to end yes i understand that'll make my hand smaller but i ain't got nothing good in that hand anyway and here is the double colorless energy so that is pretty cool I did also get an Ultra Ball, but I don't have a supporter for the next turn, so like that stinks. <laughs> I could uh, go in with Latios, but I think that probably Tapu Coco is going to be the move here. I don't really see myself wanting to. I don't really see myself wanting to. Uh, let's let's feather arrow the active. I don't see myself wanting to just 
put myself out of the Lele play just in case I need it. So I am going to have to hold on to this weird little hand here and then flying flip. Uh, maybe I should have, yeah, no, this is fine because that's going to put my opponent up to 60 and then next turn I could feather arrow devolve if I want to. Yes, yeah, so that that's fine. And let's flying flip here. So next turn, even with just one Decidueye in play, I'm going to be able to poke this Guardy for one more and then devolve it to knock it out. Uh, and then, you know, I, that Gallade is not going to be doing much of anything to my Espeon. If they do knock out my Espeon, that's stressful. But I think that I could still probably get there just tanking with, like, my other things here. Uh, I'm not terribly concerned. Let's see. They're going to field blow my floatstone. Don't do that. Don't do that, Mr. Ferguson. Ferguson, no, stop. And uh, I think so long as they don't like Guzma... As long as they don't like Guzma up at uh, GX or something. So long as they don't just like knock out the Decidueye. If they were like Guzma up the Decidueye this turn, like I would be pretty upset. Like I'd be, pre I'd be pretty, pretty tilted if they went ahead and did that. Uh, maybe I mean they're gonna end. That's fine. As this is a weird hand, go ahead and end me. That's fine. I did have the Espeon ready though. That Espeon was on deck, and we still got the Espeon. So that's super neat. I am fine with this. I do wish I had a rare candy so I could get out another Decidueye. Looks like they did finally get their Octillery, so that's good. And they're probably just going to Infinite Force here and knock that thing out. I am fine with it. Uh, I You can see that, like, the Latios not having free retreat is, like, a little bit stressful sometimes. Like, right here, it's a little bit stressful. But they're getting ready to waste a rare candy. They don't even know they're about to get latios That thing is coming in. So... Uh, let's see if they do if I do Latios them then they are gonna have to pick up that guard of war and they're gonna probably slap it right back down on this uh, Gallade here so like that is annoying and, you know they're probably gonna take a knockout on my Espeon like that if they do take a knockout on my Espeon like that then they'll only have one prize left to take and I don't like that like that is super stressful but you can see here even though we're rolling slow we still have moves we still have plays we definitely have plays Let's see here. I think I have to I have to knock out this Gardevoir GX, like for sure. But then my opponent is probably also going to ugh. Let's see, yep, I definitely have to do that. So let's feather arrow the Guardi. Let's put the Espeon down. I think I need to Ultra Ball away the Vulpix and the uh and the Ultra Ball. Oh boy. And then do I get a Dartrix? Do I get a Lele? I think I have to get a Lele. Yeah, let's get that. And let's go ahead and attach the double colorless to the Espeon. Use Wonder Tag. Oh, boy. Yep, that's fine. Use Wonder Tag. And then let's go ahead and get ourselves a Sycamore. Uh, I guess they premonition. They should have premonition stacked their hand last turn. But, like, uh, this, is, this is fine. I mean, if they don't put that Gallade back into play, they're going to lose that. Let's see. Let's, let's just go for a Sycamore. I'll end later in the game. I want to draw cards. Like, I want to get a second Decidueye into play right now. So that's, like, what I'm going for. Let's just do it. See what we can get. And we did not get any of that. We did not get any of that with flying colors. We did not get any of that. So that is fine. No, no worries. You know, we're going to be okay. This is, this is perfectly acceptable. Then let's go ahead and... I think I'll Field Blower their Choice Band just to get that out of there. Just because, you know, a Guardian with the Choice Band is kind of scary. And uh, let's Miraculous sh Shine. Miraculous Shine. Miraculous Shine. Get out of here. Come on. I only got one Decidueye, but we're going to make it work. We are going to make it work. So that is frustrating. I'm going to need another Decidueye, like, right now. Like, definitely need another Decidueye. Where are you? There's a Dartrix. That would have been good, like, last turn, so that I could have evolved this Rallet here. But this is a little stressful. You can see the deck is just setting up a little slower than average this game you know things are going a little bit slowly i did not get the turn one bridget which is super frustrating but this is fine oh my opponent's got a rare candy again are they just gonna go and knock out this thing uh they did rare candy let's see they got another guardy in their hand they're not going for the gallade that means they're probably just going for knockout yep because they're gonna rescue stretcher their guardy back or another Curlia even. Man, this is rough. They must have Guardian hand then and like Sycamore or something. Or they're just going to Abyssal hand for three and just hope for the best. 
This is brutal. So they get 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. All I need is two more energy or an energy and a choice ban, and they knock out my Espeon, go down to one prize. That is bad. That is very bad. I need, let's see, they got a secret spring. Oh, no. Cut this out. Cut it out. Stop what you're doing. <laughs> Stop what you're doing. Don't do that. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Oh, no. Don't, N. Just N or something. No, they got it. Okay, this is bad. This is real bad. Nope. The Espeon needed to survive another turn, guys. Needed to survive one more turn. This is not what you want. Hopefully, I could throw the Decidueye up there and N and maybe, you know, make something work for another turn. Let's see. Right now, they're rocking 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. They would only need two energy. Like, they could definitely get that. So, let's see here. What would I need? They have Curly underneath that thing, too. I would love to be able to devolve this turn. Like, that would be great. What's my rescue stretcher situation like? I haven't played one. So, I do need to end, but I don't think I commit an energy because I think, like, I just hope that. I mean, what if I get rare candy, Decidueye, rescue stretcher, energy off of all this? Like, that's a four out of five cards I need. Do, am I better off just sycamoring? And just hoping that I hit all of that off of Sycamore, I would have, what, one, two, three? I'd have, like, one energy left in deck. Oh, my gosh. Let's just go ahead and end. All right, we're just going to... We're going to end. We're going to end. All right, let's go. Let's do it. Yep, and Anning. Let's go. Give me a Rescue Stretcher, an energy, a Decidueye. No, we didn't get the rare candy. No, 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 no. Ugh, this is so bad. I was so close to hitting it, though. I was so close. Let's see. I cannot devolve this thing and kill it because I need... Um, let's see. So we're going to do this. We're just going to hope my opponent can't get it. I mean, I can't just devolve them. They would need a double color. I guess if I do devolve them... No, I can't devolve them. I... Yep. Can't devolve them. Need to just wait one more turn and just hope they don't knock me out. I think the odds of that happening are very low. But we just need to pray at this point. I can't attach the double colorless anywhere because I need to save it. So let's just go. Don't don't kill me, man. Don't kill me. Come on. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. They just need a double colorless energy or they need two fairy energies. To be fair, they've got only one. There it is. Man, I just end you straight into it. You already got the Sycamore. Are you kidding me? You didn't even need the Abyssal Hand. Now he's just stunting on me. All right, Ferguson. Man, you just won the... Be you won Man, this is supposed to be a bad matchup for you, Fergie. It's supposed to be a bad matchup. Now you're making me look bad. That's fine. All right. Got set up a little slow there. Not much we could do about it. You know, my opponent was able to go in aggressively with Gardevoir and just really stop my strategy before I ever really got it going. Didn't find double colorless energy early either, so I could not flying flip. Uh, effectively to spread damage and then you know was only able to get one decidueye out throughout the course of the game so that was not good i think potentially early on that one turn where i could have uh i could have just evolved into dartrix and then you know maybe rare candied the other decidueye into a decidueye like that probably would have been better off that turn but i did end up getting my dartrix just like guzman up later so like that i don't think it would have ended up making a difference i think it's just an awkward awkward game didn't start out bridget but anyways i'm glad i was able to show off just a nice tier one you know meta matchup for you guys thank you all for watching uh this channel uh thank you all for watching the video let me know what you all think of decidueye gardevoir gx in the comments below make sure to like the video subscribe to the channel peace